Welcome back, I'm Mandy, the Sometimes Minimalist Mom. Today I'm going to share with you three of my favorite Love Every books. If you like Love Every and you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe and smash the like button. So here we go. Let me start off by saying Love Every has amazing books. It is very hard to get these books if you do not have a subscription box, but I do know that people seek these books out and you can buy them on Facebook Marketplace or Mercari. So if you aren't in it for the whole subscription box, but these books sound amazing to you, maybe check that place out. All right, so I'm going to start with B Gets a Checkup. So this book seems really simple, but I haven't found any other books like this. This is basically a story about B and she goes to the doctors and it takes you through going to the doctor, going in the waiting room, getting set up by the nurse, being seen by the doctor, being measured, all the things that you kind of need to explain or that happened to your child that may be new or they might not remember because they're just getting to the age of having memories. So another part I love is they talk about, you know, the exam itself, which is something kind of hard to explain to your child if they don't know what that is, as well as getting a shot. And then after putting a Band-Aid on it and that B is okay. So I used this book as a tool before I took my son to his three-year checkup. He is generally a normal kid, but everyone has, you know, worries. So I read in this book several times and then I brought this book to the waiting room and we read it as we waited. So I reiterated, you're going to go in for a checked up. There's going to be a doctor. They're going to examine you and you're going to get a shot. And when he got that shot, the craziest thing happened. He did not cry. And I don't know if that's just who my son is because he did cry at all of his previous shots, but he did not cry at this one. And I, I want to believe that it's because I introduced the concept early I reiterated the concept and I backed the concept up by this book so he was comfortable with what was going to happen. Um, that alone, this book is worth it to me. I love this book. I'm going to keep reading this book before doctor's appointments for m my first son as well as my second one as he gets to that age. So highly recommend. It's called B Gets a Checkup. All right, the second book I love and for a little bit different reason is Leo and Melody go to the farm. This book is so cool because it has so many different kinds of sensory elements, not just one. So it has a story and then it has different things that you can feel, such as fur and the milk. And then beyond that, it has things that are soft and things that are rough which is fun for any kid. Oops. Then, as you get further into the book, I haven't found many books like this, but this is a page where you can scratch and sniff, and this page actually smells like lavender, which I think is an awesome kind of um, sensory pivot from just feeling things in a book. It also has a flap in the back where you can see um, inside a chicken coop. So it kind of mixes feeling, smell, and opening flaps, which are three really fun things. And it talks about going to a farm, and my three-year-old loves going to farms, so he really loves this book. All right, that takes me to my last favorite book. So this one is Bedtime for Zoe. And I'm going to do another video with just bedtime books, but this book I feel like is magic and I will tell you the number one reason I love this book is because Zoe takes a bath and my son was very worried and would get upset when we poured the water over his head to wash his hair. I'm not sure if any of your children are like that. I feel like it's probably normal but after reading this book when Zoe takes her bath and it says mama wipes Zoe's face and reminds her to look up that's better, and then Zoe gets her hair washed. We practiced this with my son of him looking up, and he did not get any water in his eyes, and it made the hair washing experience really great. So you can tell your son or you tell your kids um, to look up or do this or do that, but I feel like things are really 
made more powerful when you read and see them. This book is also great because it just talks about the different process of going to bed, taking a bath, putting on pajamas, and things that we do normally. And also, you know, I love every books, they reference and show their own books and pictures of toys in their books, which kids love. So then at the end, it just says nighty night, so, and usually with a bedtime book, when it says nighty night, then I say nighty night to my child, and it kind of segues into the actual getting into bed. So those are my three favorite Love Every books. B Gets a Checkup, Leo and Melody Go to the Farm, and Bedtime for Zoe. There are a lot of other really amazing ones, but I love these because B Gets a Checkup and Bedtime for Zoe both taught my child something and helped them through a process. And Leo and Melody um, Go to a Farm is just really fun because it has all of those different things to get the child's senses engaged. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Have a great day and thanks for joining.